Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is going to be an easy one. I'm going to create a cover sheet template and I'll show you how I'm going to add it to my sheet set. So I'm working on my source title blocks file. This is where I have my A2 title block template as well as my A3 title block template. So I'll just create a new layout by clicking the plus sign at the bottom left. So this creates a generic new layout. I'll delete this viewport, double click my layout, rename it to A3 cover sheet, right click the layout, go to page setup manager, make sure A3 cover sheet is selected then go to modify first i'll go to printer plotter and i'll change that to dwg to pdf and in paper size i'll expand the drop down menu and look for iso expand a3 what to plot layout plot offset is zero zero plot scale i'll change that to one to one plot style i'll select one from the drop down menu as you can see the two plot styles that i created two videos ago are appearing as options so i'll select local plot style two check mark display plot style so you see what your sheet would look like as you're designing it quality normal plot options check mark plot transparency keep everything else check marked uncheck hide paper space objects drawing orientation is landscape click ok so now that i'm working on the correct sheet size i can start designing my cover sheet so i'll start by adding my logo i'll copy it from one of my title blocks I'll place it at the bottom right. Now I'm going to add fields that are going to pull information from my sheet set properties. So I'll do that by typing in M text, specify first corner and opposite corner. And when text editor pops up, I'll select field. In field category, I'll select sheet set. And the first piece of information I want to add is the current sheet set project name. Click OK, click outside. The field is looking tiny here, so I'll select it. Hit PR on my keyboard. My properties palette pops up. I'll go to text height and I'll change that to 16 and then I'll go to justify and change that to middle center. I'll add another field so I'll type in M text first corner opposite corner select field and here I want to add the current sheet set project number click OK click outside and the field appears right here. Two more field. Now I'll go to current sheet set custom go to custom property name and type in revision they click OK I'll do the same again, M text, field, current sheet set custom, and the custom property name this time is revision number. And now I'm going to add titles next to those fields so I know what they are. So this is just regular M text. I'll select those fields and change the text height from properties to 6 as well and I'll just align them next to their titles. So now I've added all the information I want on my cover sheet. I'm just going to select my fields and make sure there's a lot of space for any amount of text before it skips a line. Same here. I'll just draw a frame that goes within this dashed line. So I can try to center my client name at the center of my feet. There we go. And I'll remove the frame. So now my sheet is ready. I'll save the work that I did on my source file. I'll close the properties palette. Type in SSM to open sheet set manager. Right click my sheet set. Select new subset. And in subset properties, I'll change the name to general. And I'm not changing any of the settings except for prompt for a template, I'll change that to yes. Click OK and my subset appears at the bottom of my sheet set. So I'll just select it and drag it to the top. Now I'll right click my subset, select new sheet and this window pops up prompting me to select a source file for the template that I want to use. So I'll browse for my title blocks file click open and as you can see my cover sheet appears as one of three options to choose from so i'll select it and click ok sheet number is 000 sheet title is cover sheet and make sure open and drawing editor is check marked so it opens as soon as it's created and there you have it my cover sheet is created as a new dwg file it's pulling the information from my sheet set properties so my revision date and revision number are the ones that i had inserted here so if i go to properties and decide to change the revision date to today's date which is 2207 2025 and revision number let's make that zero two click ok r e a and there you go that's it for today thank you for watching